why I don't wear makeup, because I just feel like makeup is definitely cheating. Makeup is hands down cheating, like, I look like a totally different person. Like, <laughs> 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 to the realest place on the platform where we keep all things a beat and address the facts in between. It's your girl Rachel Nicole and today I wanted to make a fun, interesting, unpopular opinions video with content I've never seen any other creators address and this is also going to be a get ready with me. I honestly wasn't going to film this part without having some makeup on to speed up the process but I just wanted to point out that if you haven't checked out my skincare video from earlier this week, please check it out because those two period pimples that I mentioned from that other video, as you can see, they are completely gone and all the skincare products that I used in that video were under $10. So if you're new here or a returning sub, I'll give you a few seconds to grab your snacks, tea, and I'd appreciate if you like this video before we get rolling. You know I'm going with NARS. I just love the NARS concealer. So first off, I guess we could talk about the beauty community, even though I don't care much for it. But with the amount of scandals that's going around, I'm just confused because I literally thought it's just about, you know, chilling, slapping some makeup on your face, right? But y'all go into the political extremes with like these gummies and the Put it a but it a BS. I don't really care for it. I'm confused. Y'all giving these scammers your watch time and your money. I don't know. Maybe when you get to a certain point like me, you just want to start watching only like meaningful content. You don't have time just to like do whatever you want. When you're a grown adult doing grown adult things, like you don't have the time or luxury to just watch meaningless content all the time and if we all have the same 24 hours in a day you might as well spend it doing stuff that's productive for you you feel me so i don't really waste my time watching just anything and that's why i started to be a little bit more mindful with my content because i want to make videos that you get something out of every video like you can learn a lesson from everything that i post because me personally i could never watch one of those what is it those I let the person in front of me decide what I eat for the next 24 hours. I just don't even understand how that's a trend. I could never watch one of those videos because y'all make that a trend, but I would much rather watch a trend where I buy the homeless person outside of McDonald's a meal for the day. Like, why is that not a trend? Like, I would much rather watch that on my trending list than watch the, I let the person in front of me decide what I eat for the next 24 hours. Like, first of all, y'all must have some bread or something to just toss out like that. Because what if that person decides to draw? What if that person makes you spend like four or five hundred dollars? Do you just have that kind of money to spend on food just because? Just for a video? For real? I, I just can't relate to that. I mean, you, you have all this money to do that, but y'all can't make a trend to help homeless people out or something like that i just i don't know it's just me man i don't know if i showed this yet this is tarte full coverage thing i use this because i have oily skin and it's in this jade tan sand it's oil free and 12 hour makeup all right now that i got the beauty community thing out of the way i'd rather address more important topics here because i don't know why that stuff is even so relevant so on to more important topics Let's talk about driving. This is something that I don't understand why nobody talks about because me, I drive all day, every day. I've been driving since I was 16 and I am 22. It, honestly, it feels like more like a chore than it feels like it's fun at this point. The thing about driving, there's a couple points I gotta make, honestly, because I'm quite concerned for the well-being of America across the nation. So let's talk about why do people think that turn signals are just optional? Especially when you're like on like a highway or something, or you're in a place where you're just driving like 35 miles or more, right? 
and someone decides to make a sharp turn with no turn signal whatsoever and they just expect you and everybody else behind them to have like these godlike reflexes to be able to just know that all of a sudden hey man i'm just driving you know 45 miles i'm about to make this sharp right wish y'all luck you're not using your turn signal i don't know if y'all like trying to give yourselves like a death sentence or something because that is just not safe it's very ignorant you're causing a potential accident it's like over what because you can't if you can make the turn you can put on your turn signal you feel me like if you can't put on your turn signal don't make the turn at least check and make sure nobody's like behind you before you do something like that i don't understand why it's so difficult to do okay another thing about driving that kind of concerns me again is stop sign i mean it says stop on the sign but for some reason i witness this daily this is why i don't even want to make a video about this because i see this daily people just Blow through them, thinking it's a suggestion sign. No, like, please, 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 when you're at a stop sign, at least, like, stop. Just, like, why is it so difficult to stop? The sign's right there. First of all, like, what if a cop was right there? Like, that's a ticket. What, what are you doing? Who are you in a rush for? It's just a stop sign. Just stop for four seconds of your life and not just blow through them. Especially, especially when you pull up to a stop sign and you have oncoming traffic who are you to just start out in front of all that oncoming traffic okay one important topic i want to talk about the gym okay so ladies sorry but i can't wear tights to the gym like let's be honest ladies if you want to acknowledge it or be in denial that's up to you but at the end of the day when you're wearing tights out here when you're going to the gym, majority of guys' heads are just gonna just look at that and just not giving a good look, especially at the gym. Because first of all, like guys are just going to work out or whatever. But I mean, sometimes ladies, like some guys, go to the gym to be looking at them cheeks. Just saying, I would like to speak on that. So that's why I don't really like going to the gym that much to work out because it just. I don't like when people stare at me like, I purposely wear these baggy sweatpants and baggy clothes to the gym because I'm not trying to draw attention to myself, but I, somehow people still look at me. But I'm just saying, that's why I don't really like going to the gym like that because I get so annoyed of that and just, I don't know. And then like some girls, it's like, are you just doing that for attention? Like, I don't know. It's so irking. So I just want to put that out there. You're wearing tights all the time. Like, just know that's what guys are looking at. You can say to yourself, oh, I don't have a butt. It don't matter whether if you have a butt or not, just point blank period is what people looking at. I want to talk about backwoods because I don't know why these things are overhyped and overpriced. And I'm just confused why people still buy these things because first of all, backwoods, they can come in like a five pack, right? And you're lucky to get a three pack on a good day. So I don't know why you guys are paying like five dollars or more for a pack of these you don't even get all five of them when in reality they have this knockoff called woods for a dollar well i don't know for some reason around here they'd be charging them for a dollar fifty two dollars but they're supposed to be a dollar right and it's two of them and they're both the same like they're better quality than backwoods because you actually get what you pay for like literally you get to pretty much every time <sighs> there's so much i want to do so much I want to do. I gotta do some eyeliner, this. I still gotta, like, contour. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing too much. I want to talk about some Philly rappers real quick. Because coming from Philly and seeing, like, PMV rock where he is now, it's just really funny because I'm like, dang, like, I thought my boy Core was going to make it before PMV rock. When it comes down to bars and skill-wise like that, Core gets the dub. I don't care what anybody says. People just be overhyping PMB Rock because he can sing, and it's like, I don't really think PMB is all that in a bag of chips. I gotta be honest, I feel like his music was better when he was in Philly. <laughs> Back in like 2015 music. Like, I think, what is it, RB3? I think that was the last thing that I really genuinely liked, and after that, it kind of just fell off of my mind because he kind of just did everything for Cloud in my opinion, and Core is just better, point blank. 
Another thing that's probably gonna trigger some of y'all is Nipsey Hussle's death. Cause first of all, I don't even know why this is a conspiracy. Like, I mean, clearly, I'm gonna leave a link to all my points down below. But I definitely believe it was Lauren London. Lauren set him up. I don't care. I'm, I'm signing it here and now. Lauren, if you want to square up, we can. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I just I feel like it was behind it. Cause how do you not cry? Like, how do you not cry? Like, I've been with my boyfriend for almost three years, and I would definitely be bawling my eyes out if that were the case. For a female to show no compassion, there's always a hidden agenda behind that. From a female to female. But if you want to see the full video of some proof and evidence, definitely, I'm going to leave that in the description box. Now, the thing about this video that I want to address is... I don't necessarily agree 110% of everything he said, but the only thing that really, like, he even said it himself, numbers don't lie, and it's definitely true, numbers don't lie, and he definitely went home and did his homework on this topic, so I would definitely recommend watching that video, because that is eye-opening stuff. That job. All right, I gotta be honest. I feel like my lips are musty and crunchy, like half the video. So I'm using Carmax. So I'm pretty sure if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, I'm probably like Rachel. Well, what happened to your Burt's Bees? But I mean, it can be real with you. Burt's Bees wasn't cutting it. Okay, like Burt's Bees is cool and nice to try. Like it's organic. Nothing's gonna get the job done like some Carmax for me. I don't know, man. Everyone's lips are different, though. Okay, so just because something works for your friend, don't mean it's gonna work for you. Okay, I want you to get this to your heads, cause my boyfriend swears that you know the brand Chapstick is the best chapstick there is, but. It just don't work for me. For me, I think Carmax is the best. It's crazy, yo. You can really get these at the dollar store. I gotta take y'all on a dollar store trip with me because they got some good stuff there. I'm gonna finish my lips later on, but I need some Carmax on them. They felt atrocious. Ooh, another popular opinion. You know what? I don't know if you guys watch basketball, but I watch basketball and the NBA Finals is going on. I'm just bored of Golden State always winning, yo. Can we get somebody else? Like, I was so devastated that the Sixers lost over that corny game. Like, I feel like we should have won. I mean, that's just my team, so I gotta represent. I was very upset that the Sixers lost. Oh, hey, that's all crazy. If I ever did it with the highlight... I don't even care, like, y'all know I don't do my makeup. I think the last time I did my makeup, I did my makeup twice this month. I think one for one video, and then my graduation, but that was it. Like, I really don't be wearing makeup like that. And y'all gotta stop wearing makeup every day. Like, yo, that stuff is so bad for your pores. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, I gotta throw up some high school kicks of my skin, because my skin just looked like a pepperoni pizza compared to now. That's because I just wasn't eating right, I wasn't taking care of myself, and now that I am, my skin is thanking me. Ooh, ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Ice. <laughs> I might never say that again. Oh, someone left a comment asking if I graduated. I was a little upset about that because I'm like, I definitely posted a grad a college graduation vlog earlier this month, but yes, yes I did graduate. You know, like, I was thinking about what other things to talk about for unpopular opinions, but then I was just recapping about what people who get a million plus views get. I'm just like, yo, y'all really talk about food in this video? Like, y'all really talk, like, y'all want to talk about fast food for real? Like, is that really something to talk about? Because if that's the case, like, I got some opinions for y'all. One, Burger King did me dirty with some indigestion the other day. Them spicy nuggets, those spicy nuggets gonna get to you. Alright, let's talk about John Wick 3 since I saw that the other night. And I'm not gonna lie, that John was tough, but I thought that was gonna be the last John Wick. So I was like, dang, like, y'all making some good... P.O. money or something to keep this series going, but it's really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm going a little, hey, I'm going in with the pink today. I don't really care. I'm having fun. Yeah, bitch. Call me Steve-O. Yeah, call me Steve-O.
I saw Endgame the other week. That drama was pretty tough. Now, some people say, like, they was expecting either Iron Man or Doctor Strange to check during that movie, but... So that's why I'm a little confused why everybody was so heartbroken about Iron Man. I guess it's just because of the character buildup of over the years, because, like, my boyfriend was devastated. I swear, I swear he almost dropped a tear during that jaw. I'm like... He was so upset. Now, if you guys are looking for a protein drink, you can grab these drawings over at Sam's Club, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got all the goodies. It's muscle building, it reduces appetite. Definitely pretty good. I'm honestly going to go cop some more today because this is my latest one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me slash unpopular opinions. I just wanted to cover some topics that I haven't seen some of the creators address. So if y'all want to see another video like this, please let me know down below. Or if you got any ideas for my next video, please feel free, welcome to let me know. If you aren't already a part of the community, now's your chance to subscribe and hit that notification button next to it so you never miss another post from me again. I'll see you next time. Hey.